good? How's uh, your day? Good, how are you? Good. So I'm a medium. You're a medium? Yeah. Okay. Uh, like a psychic? Oh, interesting. Yeah. Not the like a medium size, like a medium. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, shirt, pants, um, underwear. <laughs> okay. So I feel like I have somebody who's coming through that is like a friend. He's kind of got like a big brother type of feeling to him. Okay. Um, is he the, is J? How do you? I just saw the letter J. Is Julio. Mm-hmm. That's his name. Mm -hmm. He like, this is weird. <laughs> we hung out all the time and he was like a big brother to me because yeah. he was like 10 years older than me. Yeah. Because I don't have a brother. Right. I came out to only very few people mm -hmm. and I trusted him. Is there something, did, you, did your friend have some sort of issue with his blood? How do you know that? Um, he's... Um, There's no way you can know that. He's telling me that he died very quickly. Yes. Like, in two weeks, he went from, like, 100 to, to gone. When I'm connecting with him, I feel like... Um, the other thing I'm getting... Okay, interesting. I feel like there was a secret he didn't want people to know. But he's shown me something with like blood counts. What? He died from AIDS. So he didn't actually tell you that he had it? Not until he was, not until he was dying. He was a nurse and he believed mind over matter. He was like, the meds are poison. And he's like, if I believe I don't have it, I don't have it. I'm just like, I'm still pissed that he did that. Like, why did he decide not to take meds and tell himself that he didn't have it? Right. And he did. I've dealt with that. Yeah. For a long ass time. It just like broke me that someone so smart would be so, make a stupid decision like that. I always feel just like, yeah. Like, could I have saved him? Right. I feel that he wants to remind you this is really how he wanted things to be. The wheels were already moving by that time, so we just don't feel that it would have done a lot. He's there when you need him, and um, he is with you a lot. I'd hope so. You say you think about me all the time. When my friend died, I felt horrible. I felt so much doubt and guilt. I was pissed off that he didn't tell me that he was sick. And he was a nurse, and he knew how sick he was. What I'm trying to tell you now is something you can ever seem to figure out. Going forward, I don't regret anything. It feels good. <laughs> It's just, um, feels really good. I